or probably planning to fit in, maybe a facial this holiday season, just to relax, right? But the average facial really isn't getting below the surface of your skin and cleaning the dirt from your pores. There are two new medical facial procedures, though, that you might want to consider that are really getting some incredible results. Joining me now is Dr. Holly Hickman with the, <coughs> excuse me, Pontevedra Plastic Surgery and Esthetician Chris Weber. Good morning to Good both morning. of you. Thank you for being Thank here. You for Appreciate it. Okay, so of course you get my interest uh, right away because right. I try to have a facial every three months or so just because we wear so much because of all the lights so much makeup right. uh, but you're saying that it doesn't really clean your pores as well as it should what about these new facials is it um let's see halo yes halo okay. so halo is a new fractional hybrid laser so it is the benefit of halo and it's not a, a, a common laser that's out there yet but we uh, have it at our office where it gives you an ablative so there's a different a few different types of lasers, ablative and non-ablative, like a fractional, something that just has a day or two of downtime. Mm -hmm. Ablative is where you're talking a couple weeks of downtime with massive peeling. Normally, you require anesthesia. So the, the unique thing about the halo laser is a hybrid. It gives you both fractional and, and ablative results um, with the, the lower amount of downtime. And is there a second one as, all that's new, that is, as well that's also new? We've been doing this in combination with the Halo uh, okay. BBL, okay. and then Chris has started doing the um, hydrofacial. So what we excel in um, at the office is clinical corrective treatments. So when people come to us, they're looking for results that not only they see, but can be noticed by others. So one of our new um, product launches is the hydrofacial, which actually is a four-step process, and it exfoliates like a microderm. It um, has a light peel, it exfoliates, and it also um, adds like peptides, vitamins. So it's really impressive results that you see in me. to revitalize the skin then as yeah. a result. So now are these usually done together or no, they're completely separate? Totally separate. One is done um, by our providers, either the surgeons or the nurse practitioners, and the hydrofacial is done by our estheticians. And so what's, who, who would be a perfect candidate then, would you say, for HALO? And I think we have some, yeah, we have some examples here. Is this HALO or BBL? Yes, this is, this is HALO. Okay. And uh, this is a combination of HALO and BBL. Okay. So with the, and no, at our office, um, we like to do the HALO BBL together. And the BBL is a broadband light treatment, which is a photofacial, similar to IPL. Um, it's just a little stronger. So here you can see how the halo treats now these are infrared lights where you can see the sun damage and then the the correction and this is just after one treatment and you see the freckles and the fine wrinkles on the before and then the after with one treatment you can see how it's softened and the the skin has a, a better texture and and because it's a newer modality we're finding other things that we didn't realize it would treat like redness mm -hmm. or um, large pores or acne it's actually a, an incredible modality for acne and large pores and you can see these treatments i mean it's the results are unbelievable and the exciting thing for us is that you're getting results similar to an ablative laser which is the kind of the mac daddy with the fractional downtime so it's an easier recovery but you're getting amazing so far it's been a hundred percent satisfaction so it's interesting chris um how long is the downtime then would you say usually that you're seeing with the patients and what is the average age typically for a laser uh, or for the for the halo and the bbl um so yeah so we, the halo is typically um, the first day you're red and swollen, um, the second day you're a little red and swollen, then you start having kind of like these little black flakes, they call them mens, and they're just the, the skin is, is uh, shedding. However, you don't have the peeling. So approximately anywhere between four to five days. However, you can go to work the next day um, or even two days later if you're okay with looking like you have a little sunburn, maybe a little fuller face. And does this last then a year, a month? Forever? How often do you have to keep going back and, and having it done? So um, this is the initial treatment is three corrective treatments. So it's three treatments, six to eight weeks apart, and then you just do it once a year. And there's a great study um, online called Forever Young BBL study where they looked at patients um, 10 years later and they had received eight to 10 treatments, so about once a year, and they actually looked better eight to 10 mm -hmm. years later than they did in their before pictures. And how much does something like these cost? Does this cost I, um, so it ranges anywhere between three and $4,000 for a package of three. Okay. And then the once a year, I think it's what, around 1100 mm -hmm. So put it on the Christmas and birthday list. Right. <laughs> thank you and very the, much, Holly, for being thank here. Chris, thank, thank you so, so much, much for being here. Do appreciate it. And we have posted a link, by the way, so that you can find out more about Ponte Vedra Plastic Surgery. Just head to newsforjax.com slash the morning show, and we'll post this interview in its entirety there.